Adam Cott took a Adam job Cott has shifted Cott. into the money well Cott Adam, Adam, Cott. Too well he's Adam Cott worked as a grocery store clerk in the United States over the past 18 months of this pandemic. He chronicled his experience in a book titled Life on the Grocery Line, a Frontline Experience in a Global Pandemic. This is a breakthrough narrative. I won't put it in the old man in the sea category yet, but it's a 2021 version of that real anxiety uncertainty, and also revelation, and it applies to a lot of us today. Daniel's a complex human being that exists on a page and in my brain, and it's about Daniel's journey in figuring out how to make the best out of a situation that he did not expect to find himself in. Moving up to management, and all the while trying to foster something on his own, It's supposed to make you laugh, but it's also supposed to like kind of immerse you in the thing that you didn't think about before. You have a common goal of just getting through your day in retail. And you like feel like you're not obligated. You're kind of like, well, I have no voice. What I saw when I worked for a year and a half in the grocery store was I, I found that the, it was an interesting place. It's a center of culture and your neighborhood. I found it to be fascinating and I thought it deserved a story that elevates it or at least shines a light on what it's like to work in a grocery store. One thing I I think that's interesting about like kind of the book as a whole is that it's, it's talking about people that just don't get any recognition for what they do. I can't say like I want to speak for a, like a big group of people, but I hope that we can all find a common ground, you know, our reflections on life. And to me, that is kind of a core tenet that I hope people take away from the book. I started Indiegogo. I'm re-releasing the first book with new artwork in it and a new prologue. And then also I'm releasing the book on there too. So it's a pre-order of the book. I have a bunch of prints. There's some really cool artwork that's going to come with it. And that's the best way to do it. And if you can't donate, uh, please share it with everybody, especially with like the people that work in retail and, and service industry. I, I feel like they'll, they'll definitely relate to it. I fell into a situation and I made the best of it like with the first book. And I'm so proud of that, but like the, I envision stories that I can share with people and we all make this connection. Like we connect through story and I'm also kind of building into a third book. Yeah, I, I, I'm interested to see, you know, like how other people's journeys connect with mine.